A harrowing night on the plaza for a couple. Their horse-drawn carriage speeding out of control, slamming into a wall, sending the coachwoman flying and passengers to the hospital. 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel talked exclusively with two passengers that were on last night's ill fated ride. It was a date two decades in the making. This is what I've wanted to do for 20 plus years. Topeka couple Richard and Rochelle Baldwin finally made the trip to see the plaza lights and a horse drawn carriage ride. All was well for the first five minutes. It started off great. We were all just so excited and looking at all the stores, talking to the driver. The excitement turned to worry at 47th and Broadway. The horse didn't want to stop for the pedestrians, it was walking out into the crosswalk. It wouldn't, we had a, a stoplight and it wouldn't stop for the driver. Worry became pure horror as the horse continued to ignore commands and galloped full speed through red lights at several busy intersections. The most terrifying experience either of us have experienced for our own personal. The horse slammed into a barrier at Ward and Broadway, sending the coachwoman flying down an embankment toward Brush Creek. We knew we were going to go straight into that wall, and she was still trying to drive that wagon to her possible peril. Richard and Rochelle believe the coachwoman's efforts saved lives Sunday night. She survived, as did all four passengers. The Baldwins have just bumps and bruises, but Rochelle's brother must have a three-plus-hour surgery to repair a shattered arm. He's had a big gash on its leg, and it was just laying there in a mangled mess on, you know, in, in all the reins and harness. And the accident, leaving the Baldwins torn on whether carriage rides should go on on the plaza. People need to learn off of, you know, accidents and, you know, don't, don't give up on it. Just make it better, make it safer. I think it's a wonderful thing they're doing down here. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, had there been a child in that carriage last night, where would that child end up? Is this worth that? I don't know. Now, the Baldwin say they don't think there's any one particular thing that spooked the horse before it collided with this rail right here. They just say it seemed uncomfortable when it stopped responding to commands. Now, KCPD, they are investigating this, and there are no carriage rides on the plaza tonight. Reporting in Kansas City, Brian Abel, 41 Action News. Brian, thanks. There's a history of his shoes, issues rather with horses on the plaza. In 1996, a pair of horses pulling carriages collapsed and later died. Unlike this most recent horse, which was still alive. After the deaths, the city council passed an ordinance cutting down the number of carriages allowed and started requiring an autopsy for any horse that dies on the job.